So guys, uh, if you have understood how the special edition of TCS MQT works and you have uh, gone through the video, uh, then you can probably go ahead and register uh, for the same, right? So if you haven't understood how exactly the uh, process works for the special edition TCS MQT for TCS hiring, uh, you can click on the card above uh, to check what the, exactly the process is. Uh, so without any further ado, let's uh, have an understanding of how to register for the same. The first up, you'll have to go to your browser and uh, you'll have to uh, type this particular link. Uh, this link is provided in the description, so I can probably uh, click directly from there or you can copy and paste it in your browser, right? So I'll just hint, uh, hit enter. So once you have hit enter, it'll redirect you towards uh, its official page, uh, the TCS NQT page. So here, what you can do is if uh, you have already logged in, it'll say, welcome your name. If you haven't logged in, uh, then probably you can log in using this particular uh, uh, part over here, right? So it's saying accept cookies. Uh, so yeah, it'll not allow me to uh, operate on the page if I do not give accept probably. So we can do that. Uh, next up, I'll uh, try to log in uh, using my credentials. So I'll just log in. Right? So once you've logged in, it'll redirect you towards uh, the same page. Uh, but now the difference would be it'll be uh, displaying your name in the login part. So yeah, you can see actually. Uh, so now what you'll have to do is uh, this particular session, it's already expired, right? The test registration for Feb Ben QT is expired. So it's that is why it's showing view details. So if you have registered for that, you can just view details. You cannot do anything over here now. Uh, but now the uh, main panda is this particular thing, right? The special edition for TCS NQT hiring. So click on register now. So once you click on register now, it will uh, open a page where you'll have to fill certain details. Uh, so please make sure you read all these things before you fill it. Uh, anyway, we have covered this in the uh, process video of us. Uh, so yeah, you can probably read all these things and then you can go ahead uh, filling all these stuff. So uh, you can fill the names, uh, you can fill the mail IDs and uh, you can fill your date of birth. So I'll just uh, fill the date of birth accordingly. Uh, right, so next you can select your residing state. Uh, you can select whichever state you reside in. You can select the city, then gender, then your uh, 10th mark, no, sorry, roll number. Uh, then you can select uh, your phone number. Now this is probably because you'll be getting an OTP. Uh, so I'll click on generate OTP. It will redirect me to one more page. So once I click on the captcha and type the captcha, so it's 7SEF37I. Click on submit. Yeah, so it says uh, OTP received. So I would have to uh, enter the OTP. So let me just enter the OTP. So once you validate the OTP, it will say, okay, OTP has been uh, validated successfully. Then you can proceed with the other details. Uh, so post graduation, uh, which stream specifically you have done, then you can uh, click on your month of, uh, you know, uh, passing. So you can click on April or whichever month you had uh, passed. Then, you can go ahead and select the institution where you had passed out of. Uh, so I'll just, okay, you'll have to search over here. So once you type, it will not pop. So you'll have to click on search. Uh, then you can click on the respective institutions. So if it is not available, you can probably click on others. Right, so you can click on others if your institution does not pop up. Uh, so yeah, so you can see over here, you do not have any options to choose anything. So by default, you would have to give NQT cognitive test and also your uh, programming part. All right, so nothing to do over here. You just have to uh, leave it as it is. Next, since the exams are happening in centers, you would have to select the uh, preferred state. Uh, so I'll just choose my preferred state and city. Okay, you can click on this uh, respectively. And I'll just upload my photo. Uh, you would have to upload your photo and while you upload your photo you'll have to take care of this part so we, uh, size cannot exceed uh, more than 1 mb and it has to be in jpeg or jpg format all right so i'll just quickly upload my photo right, so uh, i have uploaded my photo now i'll just enter the captcha so nm okay 27x so click on the declaration part and finally click on submit 
So once you have clicked on submit, uh, it will redirect you and it will say that you have finished your registration process. Uh, it will also pop a, a you know a NQT number. Right. So as I told, it will say that your application process uh, has been completed and it will also pop a NQT number. But please make a note of this particular NQT number. All right. Now this is just the first process. Now you'll have to go on and register in the next step uh, portal as well. Uh, so let's see how that can be done. So the link for the next step portal is given in the description. You can make use of the same and uh, uh, you know use it in your browser. So once you're in this home page, uh, you would have to click on login and uh, you'll have to fill the credentials. So if you are a new user, you can probably register here or if you already have a reference ID, CD, DT ID or email ID and a password, you can make use of the same. So I'll tell you how to register also. Uh, so once you click on register, you can uh, uh, click on IT. And once you click on IT, you would have to fill all your uh, respective details. So it's just redirecting to the page where you can uh, fill up all the details necessary. So this is going to be slightly a lengthy process. So please uh, have patience. So I'll just fill all the necessary details which have to be filled. Uh, your name, your date of birth. So you can select accordingly. Here you would have to choose your institution name. So I'll just type the first few initial things and it'll pop up over there. Then qualifications, you can choose accordingly. So bachelors of, uh, okay. okay, whatever it is. Uh, so I'm just trying to search for engineering. So you can, yeah, bachelor of engineering, year of passing, you choose this carefully, guys. Uh, the eligibility is only for 2020 and 2019. Uh, next up, okay, whichever uh, nearest test location. Okay, I'll just choose uh, Bangalore. Uh, enter the password as per uh, TCS policy. So this has to have, okay, please make sure you read all these before you click on the password or generate the password. So I'll just uh, type a password. Okay. Security question. Okay, what is the nationality? Okay, next up, uh, type your capture. So Y B Y C E, and uh, finally you can click on submit. So you can confirm this. So once you confirm this, uh, you'll probably get a, a SMS and you can see this is your reference number. Please make sure that you have this uh, uh, for the next time when you log in, because even if you want to reset your password, it'll be asking this particular number or else you'd have to go through your entire mail, which is a bit of a pain. So you can just uh, store this somewhere uh, carefully. And once you've done uh, so much, uh, you can click on continue for the next uh, set of uh, things. So please enter your password to continue with the registration process. Campus coming. So I'll just enter the password which I had generated just now. Okay, so I'll just click on submit. Okay, so this is the uh, exact dashboard which you're supposed to get once you register. If you directly log in uh, without registering, you'll come to this particular dashboard automatically. So let me go ahead and fill the application form. Uh, so once I click on application form, you would have to uh, fill certain uh, personal details. So I'm just waiting for the page to load. So you can click on start filling the form. So yeah, most of it would be filled already, but uh, most of it would not be filled. So you can go ahead and uh, fill the things. Uh, once you're done filling this, you can click on save and continue. So I'll just click on save and continue. Uh, you have not filled in all the mandatory details. Uh, okay, let's see which mandatory part is left out. Uh, right. Okay. 
So once you're done with personal details, I'll uh, have to probably fill up three more. So I'll just uh, quickly pace up and fill all the things uh, necessary. So this uh, video will be slightly in a uh, you know two x or a three x uh, speed. So uh, you just have to fill your respective details. All right. So let me just fill mine. So once you're done, uh, we'll be coming to this last part uh, where you can uh, tick on uh, uh, you know, if you have are you involved in any pending okay, civil base no, uh, close disciplinary you no, know, then you can tick on application form preview. So if you want to have a look at your application form, you can click on application form preview. Uh, it will get downloaded and uh, from there you can just open the file and uh, you can have a look at all the details what you have filled. So if not, you can just uh, proceed ahead. You can just click on I agree, you can type the place where you have uh, filled this particular form and you can click on submit application form. So as soon as you finish this, you can see there is a dialogue which opens. It says, would you like to apply for a TCS recruitment drive? So please do not click on no, click on yes. Okay, so only then you'll be able to apply for uh, the special uh, NQT. Uh, so after this you can choose your nearest uh, uh, you know uh, center so i have just chosen bangalore then the nqt number whichever you have uh, got from the uh, you know the eon platform uh, you know the step before which you, which i had showed you the same nqt number has to be uh, punched over here okay, let me just punch in mine so once you have finished with this uh, you can click on apply uh, so once you have clicked on apply okay it says please select the here is center so i'll just click on bengaluru or we'll click on ok uh, so yeah so it, it says you have applied for recruitment right so if you just want to confirm if your uh, application form is uh, uh, you know submitted or not you can click on track my application so you can see it says uh, applied for drive application received and a candidate registration so all these details are uh, filled up over here all right so this is the uh, final step and if you're done so much you are done with the registration process Phase Preps NQT Cracker is uh, open for enrollment and if you haven't enrolled already, this is the uh, best course that you can get out there in the market. So I'll be getting 600 plus uh, uh, you know, questions uh, which are expected questions and you'll also be getting video solutions for it. You'll be getting an inbuilt compiler from Phase Prep where you can practice all the coding simulations and the course access will be given till April 30th, 2021 which means even after the uh, NQD gets over, you'll be having it uh, so that you can have a reference of whatever you have uh, written in the exam. And last but not the least, you'll be also getting a channel, access to a channel called as dot uh, cl clarification slack channel, where all the mentors will be there to guide you anytime you need them. So all the best guys, do well. Hey YouTube, how are you doing? Stay tuned to Facebook for more awesome videos. Don't forget to subscribe.